Hi Taurus, Sun, Moon, Ascendant, or Venus. This is Dane, and I'm going to be doing your July 2021 Love and Relationship reading for you. Now I ask if this reading resonates with you, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you're interested in any of the cards that I'm using, they will all be listed and linked in the description box below. Now before we begin this reading, let us clear the energy space, raising our own energy vibration and releasing any negativity. So let's take a nice deep breath in, exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you. Releasing all negativity from the body like storm clouds. Letting yourself feel calm, centered, and at peace as we enter into this safe and loving space. Let's let the bowl sing as we see what the tarot has to say. And Taurus, before we even begin, while I was shuffling and meditating the cup, upon the cards. I kept on getting Aquarius, so I don't know that is just one very specific message for a very specific person, or maybe it is for, for everybody, but Aquarius just kept coming up time and time again. So there's an interlocking with Aquarian energy during this time. So do be mindful of that for whatever reason. So let's see here. Taurus, July 2021, love and relationships. Taurus, July 2021, love and relationships. Taurus, Angels and spirit guides show me clearly. Okay. These two. Taurus. July 2021 love and relationships. Taurus. July 2021 love and relationships. Taurus. Angels and spirit guides show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly. Angels and spirit guides, angels, and spirit guides, show me clearly. So at the top is the energy that crowns us, the bottom is the energy that grounds us. Let's see what the cards have to say. We have the four of pentacles, which for me is vampiric energy, and then we have the ace of wands, so a beautiful gift coming in from God's source spirit. We have the hangman, we're not seeing things the same way as everybody else. And we have the page of pentacles. We ourselves are coming through as a student, as a page. We're represented by the pentacles in the minor arcana. We're represented by the hierophant in the major arcana. This also represents all earth sign energy. So Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn are coming forward. And it can be a vampiric energy. Okay. So it's so interesting. What we're seeing here is we're learning from the vampiric energy that we've been through. And because we have been through this trauma, whatever this trauma is, this hurt, this pain, this sense of I have to hold on because there is not going to be enough. We now see things differently than we ever had before, or even that we feel the rest of the world sees it. We might feel that we almost don't fit, like as if everybody sees things one way but we ourselves see it another. So just be mindful of that in that the first instinct is going to be that I'm wrong. You know, I'm seeing things wrong. I'm, I'm pushing the barrier too far and I have to kind of conform or pull myself back in, in one way or another. And, and that's not true at all. There, there is a need to look at things more openly and more honestly and take this gift of passion and creativity and let it move forward. Because the thing that people often forget when they talk about Torians or when they, they have a Torian within their lives is that we're astoundingly sensual, sensual people. And we like things to have weight and to have depth and to have meaning and substance. And if we don't feel as if it has it, even if we don't feel as if we have that, as we're moving forward, as we're going after what we want within our lives, there is this need to either think, oh my gosh, I've done something wrong, or just to kind of pull everything up and let everything be a little bit chaotic. So, yeah. So that's something that's going to be coming up during this time, the sense of, I want a deeper connection. I want a, a deeper understanding. I need 
I need something, but I've been told that wanting this something, that wanting this way forward isn't right. And, and that's actually not right. This vampiric energy, this draining. Now, this could be from a past relationship where the person just made you kind of feel like crap. I mean, not to be blunt, but to be blunt, there there is a sense of, well, what if I? What if I embraced all of me? What if I said, this is what my heart needs. This is what my soul needs. This is what I desire. And just open me up to that world. What if? Taurus, July 2021 love and relationships, Taurus, July 2021 love and relationships, angels and spirit guides, show me clearly, guide this reading, flexibility, that makes perfect sense, now the chakra energy is the sacral chakra, and this is opening ourselves up to flexibility, and if you see here, the the stance of the of the person is the inverted stance of, of the hangman, so even our chakra energy is telling us that we're not coming to this at at the same rate or at the same place as other people. There's more here. And the thing with the sacral chakra, and it's a tricky a tricky chakra, is because it holds our creative and our sexual energy, but it also holds all the trauma drama from this life and from past lives. So there can be a sense of why can't I express myself the way that I want to within relationships, within creativity, within myself? What is holding me back? And it can be past life trauma. It can be this life trauma. It, it can be a conglomerate of, of the two, you know, where they all just kind of mush together. And it's an, an embrace of the fact that life isn't what it always seems to be or what we thought it would be. The flexibility is being able to kind of be like the willow tree and knowing that, yes, I will lose branches as I bend and as I move with the wind and as I, I soak up the water of the earth. And so there is going to be this power here that's that's needed, that we absolutely desire as we're moving forward. And there is going to be the sense of, I have to be me. Like I have to stop hiding who I am and start embracing who I am openly and honestly without, without a denial, without a sense of, I need to censor myself. You know, as long as we're coming from a place of love and, and caring and compassion, there there's beauty to be had. So let's look at our energy to be mindful of. What is the energy that Taurus needs to be mindful of? July 2021, love and relationships. What is the energy that Taurus needs to be mindful of? July 2021, love and relationships. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly. Ooh, these two. So it can be Leo energy, right? Because we have the Queen of Wands, which is fire sign energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And we also have the Strength card, which is Leo energy. But that's also a time frame of July 23rd to August 22nd. So it can be that we have to be mindful of the end of July because that's going to be a place where we kind of want to rocket things forward. We want to shoot things towards, towards our goals and say, this is my strength. This is my power. This is what I've worked for. This is what I need. And there are going to be people along the way that make us think like, oh, well, that's the answer, isn't it? You know, this is the passion. This is the, sh the sign of strength, the sign of power. And yet power is going to come to us in, in the quietest of ways. And I'm just seeing like an old person drinking tea and the strength that they had and that they have to be where they are. It's not going to be what you expect. This is going to be strength from the most unexpected places, but we're going to be fooled and think what I, what I see, what I initially interpret the scene to be is absolute truth. And so people are going to play off of that. And you are going to have a person in our lives during this time who plays off of that, who is a master of, of disguise, of making, making you think that they have everything all figured out. And there's the sense of of passion and, and determination to them. And we might think, oh, wow, you know, they hold the answers. That's, that's just, that's just everything. You know, that's it. And it's not going to be it. There's, there's going to be more here than meets the eye. So do be mindful of that during this time, but also kind of a sense of you should be like me, you know, and you should be like you Taurus. <laughs> that's, that's just it. When it comes to passion, when it comes to expression, when it comes to desire, you should be like you and, and nobody else. And that's what the Four of Pentacles is really showing us. 
And the Four of Pentacles is, is never a nice thing to go through romantically because it's vampiric energy. It's, it's loving somebody so deeply and them just not returning it. Or it's the relationship coming to its natural end and yet still giving and giving to it, thinking, I can revive this. I can, I can move this forward the way that it needs to be. It can also be the vampiric energy. It can be that we had a loved one in our lives. It doesn't matter if it was a caregiver. It doesn't matter if it was a partner or anybody in between where they weren't emotionally there for us. But we thought, if I'm just good enough, you know, if I'm just good enough, if I just love you enough, if I'm just there for you, you'll be able to see me. And then that love and that sense of being ignored turns into rage and turns into anger. It's like, well, I'll make you look at me. You know, I'll make you pay attention. And then there is a mourning process until there is a severing of the ties and saying, no, I can't do this. And what's more, I don't want to. I don't want to do this dance anymore. What we're going to see here is that there's, there's power in us to move forward. And there's, there's going to be a revelation that comes from acknowledging the vampiric energy, from acknowledging the, the hurt and the pain that has been a defining factor for us for just too long. And it brings us to the Ace of Wands. It brings us to God's source spirit, however you see the divine, the universe, handing us a gift with, you know, angel trumpets on, on their stem to say, this is you. You know, this is the reason to get out of bed in the morning. This is your passion. This is your desire. This is your insight. This is your hope and your dreams and your wishes. And this is the fire that moves you forward. There's a sense of rekindling what is, what is most sacred, rekindling what is astoundingly passionate. And you might say, that's great. How? It's by recognizing the vampiric energy, recognizing the fact that they still have their tendrils into you in one way or another. You know, they're still, they're still draining you. And it doesn't matter if that day has long since been passed, you know, or if that person isn't in your life at all anymore. The memory cuts you down just when you think, oh, I'm going to rise up. Just when you think, oh, I'm going to blossom into me. It's like, nope, don't you remember that you can't? Don't you remember that that's not your place in life? And how dare they tell you where to stand, how to love, how to express the, the power of relationships. And that can also be what's, what's holding, what can hold us back from truly connecting the way that we want to is that, that bit of nastiness that comes in. And then we start, we're crowned with seeing the world very differently. We're crowned with looking at things and maybe it feels like we're turning our world on our heads. We're seeing things in a way that we never saw them before. Or we never thought we should see them before. or We thought, oh, this is wrong. And now we're looking at them at everything so differently. We're looking at ourselves so differently. It can be that we feel like we're becoming who we once were again. And we're stepping into ourselves again, you know, or it can be that we're looking at a situation, a hurt, a pain, a disappointment, and we're starting to see it differently. We're starting to see it from healing eyes instead of eyes that say, I should have done more. I could have done more, or that person should have done more. They should, they should have whatever. It's like, no, it's time to let it go. And it's time to embrace who I am now. And not letting it go doesn't mean dismissing it. it isn't, you know, being, you know, flippant about anything, but it's saying that this doesn't get to be what defines me anymore. My happiness, my flexibility within love and creativity and joy and expression, that gets to be who I am. And that gets to be what guides me. And I become a student of all the seeds planted within me of everything that gets to grow and develop and become and to see things differently and to embrace joy and insights. All of a sudden we come to this world and we're coming to our existence now, not as the people that we once were, but as, as a force of wonderment and insight and desire and deeper connection as a person who's opening up the door and saying, I wonder what happens. You know, I wonder where the story leads me. I wonder where this connection guides me. And I open myself up to myself, honestly, truthfully, powerfully, and, and brilliantly. It's not for them. And that's going to be so important during this time. It's not for anybody else, but it is for ourselves. And so let's go deeper. Show me deeply, Taurus. July 2021, love and relationships. Show me deeply, Taurus. July 2021, love and relationships. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly. Angels. The Page of Swords and the Nine of Cups. Now, 
we're students during this time and that's coming through once again students of the mind students of the desire but also students of the weapons that we hold the the knowledge that we hold our 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 words our expressions our our deeper insights because remember the swords they're the only they're the only weapons within the tarot and the page of of pent of not pentacles here we are the page of pentacles but the page of swords is air sign energy gemini libra aquarius and this could be where that aquarius energy was coming from at the beginning that spirit had me talk about but it's this also if you have air sign energy within your chart if you are born on the cusp with gemini this is going to teach you a lot and it might not be lessons that we want to see or want to learn because they're cutting through a lot of the darkness the doubt the despair the hurt the pain and we're starting to see the blessings that we have instead of sitting in front of them these are the wishes now this is going to be something that people see so people see this within you taurus you do not see this within yourself and so there is a wish coming forward there is a blessing being understood that you're not going to see within you but others are going to see it and this is a time to embrace it this is a time to move forward within the power of of desire this is a time when it comes to the heart when it comes to to relationships and, the, and and dreams and and what we want to to create within this world we're going to see ourselves stepping forward in a new way in a bolder way in a in a more way and it moves us to our subconscious chakra message which is truth and truth is going to balance everything is it going to balance it the way that we want to who knows this is the third chakra speaking our truth is important because if we speak truth then people can't catch us off guard. You know, people can't be like, well, you said this and you said that. It's going to be like, yeah, yeah, I said this. This is how I, I see my world right now. And it doesn't mean that we share unnecessarily with people because you know what? Some people haven't earned our truth or our trust. And that's just, that's just it. If you live too openly and too honestly, people can attack in a very vicious way. And so sometimes especially if you're a person who, who has, who has said like, you know, this is my truth. This is who I am and naively gone out into the world as so many of us do and gotten taken down a couple of notches because of it. It can, we can think, Oh, I can't let anybody see my truth ever again. Take it from somebody who has, has experienced that firsthand quite intensely. If you rob yourself of your truth, the only person who is being lessened is you. And the only person who is being denied is you and that that is not a place to be so here within relationships within within love it's like this is my truth and this is what balances me like it awesome don't like it that's still great but this is still me it moves us then to the energy that we need to be mindful of subconsciously and it's the queen of pentacles we need to be mindful of ourselves being so terribly practical and so terribly concerned with everybody else that we go on the back burner and we've stayed on the back burner quite long enough it leads us to our subconscious energy that grounds us and that's the queen of pentacles so the energy that we have to be mindful of is also going to be our greatest ally it's also going to be at the root of who we are during this time and we are taurus we are earth sign energy we are nurturing and we are building and we are growing that which is sacred that which is powerful that which is abundant that which is beautiful if we lose that within us we lose who we are but if we let ourselves be sacrificed for everybody else we still lose who we are so there's going to be a balancing act that's terribly important during this time it leads us to our subconscious energy that crowns us which is the three of swords heartbreak pain and disappointment despair and doubt and hurt and so the three of swords comes and says you have to see it because if we don't see it we're going to think oh okay i'm fine i'm good i got everything under control but the three of swords is when we name the hurts and the pains that trip us up that hold us back and realize that that everything doesn't have to be perfect and that when we release that which denies us we reclaim a huge part of our lives it brings us to our subconscious energy that goes deeper and it's the eight of cups a walking away from something we once thought we would love this could be a divorce this is hurt this is pain this is this is an ending 
And it's an ending that is quite profoundly powerful within our lives, even if it's just an ending of a mindset of a, I have to look this way in order to be loved. I have to have this much money in order to be loved. I have to be perfect. It's like, no, I don't. I have to be me. And the first person who gets to love me is me. And I'm walking away from everybody else's expectations. I'm walking away from what no longer fits within my life. I'm walking away from what I have outgrown. And I'm walking to who I am. All right. All right, Taurus. I hope this reading has resonated with you. I wish you nothing but light, love, peace, and happiness. May harmony always be with you. I'm sending loving, healing energy to each and every one of you. I love you all and stay safe. Let's end this reading with a meditation, a clearing away of negative energy, a raising of our positive energy as we embrace love. So take a nice deep breath in, exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you. May you move forward in peace and in harmony, Taurus.